EMAP, your map investments. So I want to talk to you about another tech stock that's really been uh, punished, and that's Amazon. Uh, they were the one, two, three, four, five, six most active on the um, options board on Friday. Now Amazon makes a big chunk of the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at the, uh, the chart here on Amazon. So Amazon was about basically 35.50 and it's been pretty much hit 400 straight points through both moving averages, 50 and 200 day. Um, uh, this week I was able to uh, get all the way past back the 200 day and, and clash up against the 50 day moving average. Um, so I want to talk to you about my trade in here and my trade mechanics in Amazon and obviously at these levels I am long Amazon now um, because they have been sold off pretty big here um, so let me pull up here so I think if I'm not mistaken a lot of the times I start off with broken wing butterflies in these in these stocks because I read is relatively low um, and I like them because I, I, you can get really far away, and if you're doing for credits, if they get put to you all the way down there, and you're able to manage a trade, I mean you're you're getting in as a stock at an oversold level, or vice versa to the upside. So um, on the on the third, I, I put a trade on uh, on Amazon for eighty five dollars uh, that it would go to. Uh, basically 33.50 and it, it obviously looking at the chart it blew through all my my strikes so I closed out the uh, the winning part of the of the spread um, for 470 credit and I rolled out to see if next week which is this week I could um, I can get a bounce back over to these levels but it didn't materialize. It didn't bounce enough, so um, I had to roll it again. So what I did was I rolled it again, and this time I said, "Okay, enough's enough. Let me just roll it out to June, and just basically get a little credit and adjust my my uh, my strikes." So I adjusted my strikes down, and I went about 34 days out, which is the June cycle, for just a five cent credit. But now my new strikes. Remember, I started at 3350 uh, here and all these here, and I went all the way down to 3200 and obviously made it wider and 3170 for protection. So, this is about a three, uh, should be 30.3 thousand margin position, if I'm not mistaken, for a five cent credit. So, let's take a look at Amazon here. So, I have 3000. And buying power because it's uh, I have the 3200 minus the 3170 is 30. 30 times remember one option contract represents a hundred shares, so always keep that in mind. One option contract is a hundred shares, so um, 3200 minus 3170 is 30. So 30 times a hundred is 3000. So that's my margin. 3,000 margin here. I'm currently up uh, 417 on the trade, but it's not that I'm up because if I were to try and buy back this spread, I would I would I would be at a loss. So I need to continue to to uh, to go higher. And I can either do a couple things. I can try and buy this spread back. Right now, I have in, in credits. If you add these all up, let's take a look. So you understand the mechanics of this of this trade. Um, okay, so eighty five cents plus four seventy plus a dollar seventy nine plus point zero five cents. So I have about seven dollars and forty cents, seven hundred and forty dollars in credit here collected. Now, if I wanted to close on my position right now, right, let's say I right click here and go create closing position, I would have to buy back this spread for $12. So that means I'm losing the $740, right, minus the 12 
1.03. I'm losing $464. So that doesn't make sense for me. I hope you understand that. I hope that these videos show you how to manage the trade and the thought process, how to see how many credits you are. You, ha you do have to be detail and keep track of your credits here in the system it does it for you and know that okay I have this much credit collected okay obviously if I have to buy this back for twelve dollars and I only collected seven dollars and forty cents if I do this to close out this position I'm gonna lose four hundred and sixty four dollars so that's not the goal of this the goal is to make money not lose money Okay, so let's take a look at, so I have 34 days, and the expected move on Amazon is $226, uh, either up or down. So we go to Analyze tab, and here is my trade in, in Amazon, right? So Amazon is basically uh, right about here right now, okay, at, at the 32, uh, 32, uh, 200 and uh, 27 more or less right here this line right here is where the stocks at so here in the next 34 days if Amazon goes down I can lose 1380 oh, we're talking about a thirty two hundred dollar stock so in, in reference and relative to the price of the stock and the amount that I can lose it's not a big deal I mean, I know a thousand dollars is a lot of money. Thirteen hundred is a lot of money, but we're talking about three thousand dollars. So, so that's the loss. Now, if Amazon goes back up to its, it, it reverts to the mean, and it goes back up to thirty-three fifty, let's say, or thirty-four hundred, which that's what I think it will do, uh, being that this company's a monster, uh, and it makes a big part of the the broad index um, if it goes up and it stays up then I can keep sixteen hundred dollars you see it there on the bottom there in the blue sixteen hundred dollars or I can try and buy it back for less than the credits that I collected so um, maybe if I wanted to manage this trade and close it out for a 50 percent profit then a 50% profit here would mean be buying this back at uh, half of the credits that I collected. So I hope that 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 sinks in. Okay. Remember, I collected seven dollars and forty cents. So for me to make a 50% profit on this trade, I would have to buy it back. Uh, let's say roughly at three. Let's say 350. Let's say I collected seven. I buy it back at 350. Then we're talking about a $350 profit. Or I can try and let it ride and see if I can just keep the $1,600 credit. Hope that sank in. This position is a put credit spread. Um, so just a typical vertical spread. Very common. Uh, and uh, very uh, helpful and useful uh, in today's environment. Uh, in these high pri price stocks, um, you know, you want to buy a hundred shares of of uh, Amazon. You need three hundred and twenty thousand. Okay, so let's let's say okay. Oh, Marcos, that's a lot of money. Let's say okay. I want to buy. I want to buy ten shares of Amazon. Right. That's thirty-two thousand dollars on ten shares. Why would you do that? Why? Why would anybody do that? It just makes no sense. It's not efficient use of capital. So right now, if you look at my deltas, and deltas is just an, it's just deltas is basically showing you how much shares you own in a stock. So if you have a hundred deltas, you're basically owning a hundred a hundred shares of a stock. Right, right now I'm at 4.63. Let's just say for rounding off numbers, five shares. I own five shares of Amazon right now. So 3,200. All right, let's clear this up. 3,200 times five is sixteen thousand dollars. Why would you do that? That makes no sense. Right. So. So you have five shares, right? 
let's take a look at this. You have five shares of Amazon and you're holding up $16,000, right? Hypothetically. And Amazon, the expected move is 225. So let's take a look at that. 225 times five shares is 1125 profit on the expected move for the month based on the market maker moves is 1125. Why would you do that when you can tie up $3,000, right? $3,000. And have a return of sixteen hundred, and that's the beauty of options. And you know, the average Joe, you know, needs to learn these strategies. Uh, if they want to actively manage your money and be capital efficient, um, think you need to take it in your own hands. Um, you want to manage your, your capital efficient, you know, as as possible. You know, four one ks, I guess. You know, I don't have a 401k anymore. I took my 401k out in uh, April of 2020, and in 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 over a year, I've uh, put it this way: in over a year, I was able to get out of debt and pay an investment property off, and pretty much be mortgage free. And my my apartment pays my home, so, and I have a lot of cash in the account. Um, looking for opportunities on a daily basis because you want to have cash so you can be able to look this is if you want to do this for a livelihood and you like it and you're passionate if you don't like this then you know just do your put your money in 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 uh in a 401k i guess and go from there but i mean i've been doing 401k since i've been working which has been basically 20 years currently i got laid off because of the pandemic back in uh in uh the pandemic when I started in April, March, I got laid off in uh, November and uh, I started trading hardcore full time then. Um, but I was trading a little bit here and there uh, on the when I was with the company. I mean, there, there was nothing to do. They had no, no cars to sell over there. They were going through bankruptcy and there was no cars to sell. There was nothing to do. So I was trading um, and basically um, you know, in, in my times with the 401k, over 20 years of, of working, sure, sure, the 401k obviously has gone up with the markets over time. But if I would have been doing options for 20 years, oh, gosh. I mean, I'm telling you, I took my 401k in April, and I more than doubled it. It's just ridiculous. And my 401k never did that in a year. Maybe I got lucky. I don't know. I don't think so. I've been studying this stuff for three four years i recommend if you want to learn um you can try and watch these videos as much as i can try and do them i i'm going to tell you how i learned i learned watching the tv network here on Trady, trader tv every day uh and i watched youtube videos on uh on uh on different strategies like i would i would pull up the the um uh, the, the option chains right and let's say buy and i would i would study all these i would look up all these strategies in youtube vertical uh, back ratio option strategy calendar spread uh, diagonal straddle strangle I, I know how to do them all and manage them right it takes time you're not, you're not gonna learn them in a day um it takes time i mean anyone can go in here and just buy an option i try not to do that because they are decaying assets and you know if you're gonna buy them you have to buy them with the right strategies etc right so and when you put in these strategies uh calendar spread option strategy right a lot of these like, like mike and his whiteboard i've watched all his videos these these, these guys at tasty trade they're great man um I, I highly recommend them as well it's free education tasty trade uh Here you go. Uh, there's not, I don't think this is the uh, website. Let me go down. Right here. I'm sorry. They have live TV, just like TV in uh, Ameritrade. They have archives. You can learn key concepts. You see, they have everything here. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. And you really don't need a lot of money. 
um, they have Liz and Jen uh, uh, these uh, this is Liz and Jen right here and their motto is trade small trade often and it, it's so true that's one of the golden rules um, a lot of my trade this is a bigger trade for me but this is a big company and I believe in them and you know everybody has to do with Amazon but most of my trades are, are, are small like if we go through my margin sure I have bigger trades here KWeb is a, a is a ETF for for China Tulio is a software company Tesla now is a big software company DocuSign Coinbase Snow um, these are bigger ones but they, you know you could say they're big but they're just wider because wider trades uh, are proven to have more probability of success in your favor but if you look most of them are smaller you know five hundred dollar spreads two fifty for the most part a lot of hundred dollar spreads so just watch the channel I try and bring as much uh, knowledge and trades to you guys and and if you want to binge watch and learn a new career and and make extra money and and you can make a livelihood doing this because I'm doing it um, then I recommend these guys Stacy trade and the TD network and 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 you and YouTubing the strategies and 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 just keep watching them and watching them and watching them and then it'll come to you you're not gonna get it overnight maybe paper try paper trade as well um, the beauty the beauty of, 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 of this stuff right here is it takes the emotion out of, of trading because you know I know that I can lose 1380 on Amazon even if it crashes let's say and if it goes up I know I'm gonna my, my max profit is 1620 but the 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 capital use and the efficiency and the return on investment is a beautiful thing so um, keep at it keep chugging along if you're not having success don't quit I've, I've, I've had bad uh, years and uh, just can't quit uh, you know uh, you'll, you'll get there and uh, you, you will be successful you gotta fail to be successful and it makes you humble um, just don't let your ego get in the way trade small uh, and trade a lot and stay active uh, I did over 300 trades this week and uh, and don't forget to bait away your portfolio so you don't get uh, you know uh, hit in a down downturn as well just know how to do it. Doesn't mean you have to do it. Just know that if if you need to, you know how to. Anyways, share the video, like it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.